Hey, what's up you guys? It's Caboose bringing you another Gotham Knights video and today what I got for you guys here are some major hints about what we could expect from this game during DC Fandom, which is now two weeks away. Before we jump into everything though, I wanted to ask you guys, of course, if at any point you enjoy the video, if you could consider leaving a like rating on it, it would show your support and I would really appreciate it. So if you enjoy the video at any point, leaving a like rating would be awesome. Also, if you're new here and you want to keep up to date on all things Gotham Knights, well then I got you covered. I'll be making videos on all the news and updates for this game, reacting to whatever we get at DC Fandom, showcasing gameplay, a let's play, and so much more when the game releases in 2022. If that sounds good to you, hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell to be immediately notified when a video goes live. And with all that being said, Let's get into this. Okay, so if you remember just a few short weeks ago, WB Montreal and the Gotham Knights social media pages put out a new poster for the game that was teasing DC Fandom. It was of a member of the Court of Owls with a quote that says, no one talks about them, not a whispered word is said, which is a quote that comes from the announced trailer of Gotham Knights. No one talks about them. Not a whisper word is said. For if you try to cross them, then the town strikes you dead. And continuing from that, just recently, there was an Instagram story that was put out on the official Gotham Knights Instagram page that continues the quote from that trailer. Following that, they also put up a countdown that was counting down to DC Fandom, which will be taking place on October 16th. And I'm telling you, my excitement is so high. I cannot wait to see what we're going to get from both Gotham Knights and Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. But based on what they're teasing here, it looks like we're gonna get a major reveal for the Court of Owls and their involvement in this game. We only really got a sample sizing in the announced trailer, but there's probably gonna be a full-on reveal for the Court of Owls during DC Fandom in just two weeks. To take that even further, the Gotham Knights Twitter page updated their header to this cryptic photo of a member of the Court of Owls and a portrait there. I love how they're playing this and I love what they're doing with the Court of Owls. You can clearly tell that a lot of passion is going into this and the Folks at WB Montreal really want to do this storyline and these characters justice, and I'm very happy about that. The Court of Owls storyline from the comic books is just one of the best Batman stories ever, bar none, and I can't wait to see how it's going to be adapted into this game, especially considering the fact that Batman is dead, or at least we assume he is dead. Batman plays a huge part in the Court of Owls storyline, so I wonder what they're going to do omitting him from that and having it just be the sidekicks at play. And then finally, to take it one step further, the executive producer at WB Montreal working on Gotham Knights, Fleur Marty, I apologize if I'm mispronouncing that, she posted over in the Discord saying, at everyone, we're so thrilled for DC Fandom and can't wait to share more of the story and our main antagonist, the Court of Owls. We're looking forward to the show on October 16th. So yeah, that pretty much confirms we're going to get an extended look at the Court of Owls and their involvement in Gotham Knights, but as well she mentions there that we're going to get a look at the story. So what I'm guessing is that during DC Fandom, we're going to get a full-on story trailer that goes deep into the Court of Owls, their history, and what they're going to be doing within Gotham Knights. And I'm giddy. I am beyond excited for this game. You have no idea. I can't wait to cover it for you guys and bring you a ton of videos for Gotham Knights. And I've also really loved seeing the community rally behind Gotham Knights and come around to this game. When it was first announced, people weren't sure how to feel about it. Some people weren't really feeling it in general. But the more that we've seen, the more that we've heard, the interviews that have been done with the folks at WB Montreal, and the more that they've talked about it, people have really come around to the game and I'm happy to see that. But now it's just the countdown. Two more weeks until we get new looks at Gotham Knights, Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League, a brand new trailer for the Batman. My hype is a critical mass. I don't know if I'm going to be able to contain it. Keep an eye out. I am going to spam your sub box on October 16th. There's going to be so much content to make and I'm very much looking forward to it. And with all that being said, 
now i want to kick it to you guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section below are you excited to potentially be getting an in-depth or an extended look at the court of owls in gotham knights and what else do you want to see from the game at dc fandom sound off in the comments below and of course if you enjoyed today's video if you could consider leaving a like rating on it it would show your support and i would really appreciate it i'm caboose and you can click on screen to make your way to one of the other videos on the channel or you can click my logo to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already you can also follow me on instagram and twitter those links are going to be in the description drop a like if you enjoyed leave a comment if you have an opinion and subscribe if you're new see you guys later